Hey guys, we're with Kenny, costume creator and WCS president. How are you doing, Kenny? Good, thank you. Very good. So, Kenny, tell us um, the WCS. What is it, and how long have you guys been around? Here? So, uh, World Cosplay Summit uh, has been going on since 2004. Uh, it started with uh, only four countries uh, uh, going over to Japan and participating in a in a cosplay event. And um, a few years later, they started to do a championship. Uh, basically to find the best cosplayers in the world. And um, I found out about it uh, um, back in 2006, and I got interested in, in, in it, and I wanted to bring it to Australia. So I contacted WCS uh, in 2006 and got uh, approval to organize it for Australia. So we announced it in 2008 that we were going to participate, and uh, we sent our first team uh, in 2009. Um, so we've been almost uh, now eight years we've been going to, uh, to Japan. So we started at first with, uh, with Animania uh, and then um, uh, four years ago we moved over to Smash um, when Animania um, 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 stopped. And uh, yeah, it's been a really great, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's always good cause, uh, to get uh, all the cosplayers to, um, to come and participate in the competition. Uh, you, you see the, the most exquisite costumes, the best performances, uh, and uh, it's just everyone's pushing this and themselves uh, to be the best and uh, to represent Australia and, uh, in, in Japan. So when you're uh, looking for, at, at the cosplayers, what is the WCS looking for though? Is it, is it clarity? Is it detail? So it's a bit of everything. So we take into account for the costume uh, the, um, the level of quality of, of, of the craftsmanship. So how well it's sewn together, uh, any intricate uh, uh, designs have been input into it. Uh, so we're taking into account the difficulty of the costume, uh, whether it's just a simple uh, uh, sewn costume or if it's something really complex with lots of different weird, weird shapes. And, um, and uh, then it's techniques that they're being used. So if they use just simple sewing or if they use also other uh, elements like warbler, uh, any other um, material that's a bit more difficult to use than just uh, uh, fabric. So have you seen any in, in your history with the WCS? Have you seen any that really stood out? My favorite costumes of all time would have to be Team Mexico from last year. They did uh, um, Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask and I've never seen costume as good as that ever. It was just so much details uh, going into it um, and just, just beautiful craftsmanship and the performance was really uh, uh, beautiful uh, so I recommend uh, for people to watch it. There's videos on YouTube uh, of their performance last year. Well, seeing all the people here that have taken the time and effort to dress up, how long do you think it would take for them to create such an elegant uh, costume? It can take quite a bit of time. Uh, uh, most people take, do costumes, like they'll take a week or two to, to make, uh, so, and they're usually simple costumes. But uh, when you see a very intricate costume, usually they'll take months, three to six months at least. Um, uh, like recently when I, I was in Japan, uh, I saw Team Denmark's costume, they took a year. And it was so detailed, like, it was details in the details, it was crazy. And you, you can only get that much uh, details and uh, quality into the costume if you take your time and uh, it can take as long as a year. So the WCS in Australia, how many other countries has now uh, joined this, this uh, huge yeah, WCS? So this phenomenon? year there was 30 countries and I think they are hoping to have 32 next year. So it's getting bigger every year. It's, it's the biggest uh, cosplay event in the world by far. I think uh, the second largest after that in America, they only have about 12 countries. So uh, WCS is, uh, is the largest by far. Yeah. So Kenny, on a, on, on a personal matter, um, like you've chosen to come as Zell from Final Fantasy VIII, yes. which is one of my favourite characters in, in, in that game. One of my favourite characters too. It's, uh, always, uh, I like the way he always had his own attitude, I really like that. Yeah. So what made you choose Zell for today? Actually, I uh, made this costume because uh, a few years uh, back, uh, a group uh, of my friends wanted to do a Final Fantasy VIII uh, um, group. So I said, like, I want to do Zell. And uh, so I, I was Zell, part of that group. And, and, and then, um, uh, Natalie, uh, who was at Team Australia last year, uh, was doing uh, Final Fantasy VIII this weekend with a few friends. So I decided I would uh, take it out of the, the 
cupboard and, uh, and wear, wear it again. Brilliant, yeah. We see too many Final Fantasy VII's. I think there's too many clouds. And yes, many there's, there's, there's still like quite a few today, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good to see uh, other Final Fantasies, yeah. So, um, like, with all the cosplays that you've undertaken yourself, right? do you have a favorite? Uh, I think my favorite is Waka, uh, because uh, I, I've taken it to Japan a few times because uh, uh, it's not, not many people do Waka from Final Fantasy X, and uh, so every time that I wear it, people uh, get super excited about it because pretty much I think I'm, I'm the only Waka cosplayer in Australia, and there's only a few around the world um, as I've done that costume, so. Uh, I think it's just a ex level of excitement because not many people actually do it. Well, um, Kenny, thank you very much. And, uh, and thank you for telling us all about the WCS and your role within it. Let's hope for Australian victory. Let's hope. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.